Well, morning all. Welcome back. Well, today's the day we find out what um, the shit shower's new plans are. I'm going to be watching very closely. There's nothing coming up about it yet. Um, but it looks like a lot of the restrictions are going to be lifted. One in particular, all restrictions to be lifted on events and gatherings. Mm. Now, for those that don't know, I believe it's this weekend is supposed to be another big um, protest in London. Um, one of these worldwide events. So, what do we think the police are going to do this time? Are they going to take notice? Or are they just going to have one last hurrah with the buttons? <laughs> it's going to make life interesting over the next few weeks and months, isn't it? Now, the other thing I want to do today is, many of you know, a few months back, I did a couple of videos on the swine flu outbreaks going back a few years now and that um, there was a thing in place um, the harm from vaccine act I think it was um, 1976 which I talked about on there now as far as I've been told I haven't found this yet but most of that act was repealed and in when was it 2009 another system was brought in well going back we all know that the government gave the manufacturers of these jibby jabs immunity from prosecution now when I was researching the swine flu I came across a press release um, made back in December on December the 3rd last year um, by the government on one of their websites now YouTube this is on an official government website, as you will see. It's plainly visible to all. It was an official press release. So cannot be construed in any way, shape or form as misinformation. This was a government press release. So therefore should not be censored in any way, shape or form. But we'll have a quick summary of what it is. Now there's a thing. Something they kept very quiet, isn't it? And this is a government website. As you can see. So they were saying these companies have got immunity. Well, yes, they have. Um, but the COVID-19 vaccines have been added to the list. Now, this is not a compensation scheme. Um, it is actually a financial support scheme, the way they put it up. And the most that you can get from it, the limit is a tax-free lump sum of £120,000 for those suffering a severe disability as the result of a vaccine against a disease listed under the Vaccine Damage Payments Act. Um, that was of 2009. But to qualify, you must be 
or have at least a 60% disability. So not everybody's going to be able to claim that. But this is something that has not been publicised. I don't know why. Because it is on a government website. Freely available to all. So YouTube, this is not misinformation. It is actually on one of their websites. If you'd like to go and look this up for yourselves to save me reading it. Um, it does make an interesting read, as I say. It's at ukgov.uk. And you can clearly see the titles on there. How can they deny that? Now... As I say, uh, uh, that's Tracy down in Dover's just gone live, so it means there's more coming in. Yeah, now this was a press release, but does anybody remember seeing it in the press back in December? Yes, it is not a compensation scheme. It's more of a financial support scheme. Um, and I dare say you'll have to agree not to pursue it any further to, to get any of this. But just be aware it's there. You know, apparently, according to them, these things are very, very rare. Mm. If you want to see how rare, follow the link below to my BitChute channel. I put a short video up yesterday there showing just how rare it is it's only a three minute video but worth a look <coughs> obviously it couldn't be um, put on YouTube because that wouldn't get through the sensors it has been up on here but I believe it's being pulled down so I elected to put it on BitChute so check that out um, likewise Tracy down in Dover Check out what they're doing down there, her, Dave, Steve and the rest of the gang. It's all the truth. It's all what's happening today. So Boris is doing away with these restrictions. Now, another one that they've mentioned is do away with anything that interferes um, with education. Well, surely coercing kids, basically, and frightening kids into doing your bidding and doing what you ask is not interfering in education, is it? The fact that it interferes with their uh, mental health and will cause a lot of problems in families, many families, I might add, you don't consider that interfering in the kids' education. You're just proving what a prick you are, really. Um, what else? Oh, I've got pages and pages of notes here, and I'll never have time to go through them all. Um, yeah, they're, they're based this now on the kids. They're ignoring the science that they've told us to follow for the last nearly two years. Now, all of a sudden, it's okay to ignore it. Um, but I will say, Boris... Uh, I'm sorry for your loss, mate. R.I.P. your mother. Um, she's gone. Remember. But at least she went knowing what a buffoon her son has become. But my condolences, it's, it's a hard thing. I will say that. And I do feel for you on that score. But that's about the only thing I do feel sorry for you. Um, yeah, the gatherings, lifting the restrictions on gatherings, not only protests, 
and large events. You know, these are the ones that they wanted us to have this silly app and passport for that they're not scrapping, can be reintroduced. Um, but I will watch today, find out what these new rules are that he's going to put in and what ridiculous laws they're going to install. But please go and research that, what I just showed you. It's, it's there for all to see. It's not misinformation. And um, it wasn't sorted by robots either, apparently. But uh, It's too much for me to read out on here. It just take up too much time. <coughs> um, Tim, if you're watching, mate, um, I am going through the process of finding out a few photographs of some of my old cars, including my old Pontiac. I know there's a couple in there somewhere, um, and I will post them in a future video. And also next month, um, we're away for nine, ten days sea fishing um, at the lovely cottage we use up in Cumbria. And hopefully the Wi-Fi is a bit better up there so I can post a bit more while I'm up there. And I'll do a few videos from the beach as well as the fishing videos as usual. So until the next time, guys, I noticed a couple more subs have jumped in there. Welcome to you guys hope you like the channel um, as always go and support savage media tracy all these good channels they're all like-minded with us agent x fighting corruption everywhere show them some love a bit of support i know they support me so until then my respects to you all each and every one of you and be safe be strong and stay free from tyranny. Bye for now.